Baby, I'm yours. Enjoy one tonight, love one tomorrow. I don't want to grow up. So what does Baby I'm Your singer Barbara Lewis, Domino's Pizza, and Toys R Us all have in common? Absolutely nothing besides the fact that Barbara Lewis and Dave Brandon, who was the CEO of Toys R Us, and former CEO of Domino's, now chairman, are just a few notable people from the fine city of South Lyon. So without further ado, let's talk about all things South Lyon. What's going on everyone, Andrew McManaman here with Living in Michigan, a Michigan realtor helping people like you buy, sell, and invest in the amazing state of Michigan. So if there's ever anything you need, don't hesitate for a second to reach out and I'd be happy to be your go-to resource. As I mentioned, I am going to be chatting about all things South Lion from where they're located and things to do to schools and home prices, along with some thoughts of my own being as I grew up right down the road. For those of you that aren't too familiar with South Lyon, this 3.74 square mile city with around 12,000 people is smacked into the middle of Brighton, Milford, Novi, Salem, and Whitmore Lake. Not to be confused with Lyon Township, which is about 32 square miles with a population of over 21,000 people, South Lyon is located on the west side of the township and two unincorporated communities New Hudson and Kensington, which was once a former village turned Metro Park, which make up the majority of the area. South Lyon is known for its charming downtown, schools, quality of life, along with the several annual events and pristine parks that I will chat more about going forward. If you're in the Southeast Michigan area, it's fair to say South Lyon doesn't get as much hype as it deserves. The city is so often looked over with Brighton and Milford being in such close proximity. I think it has a lot to do with the expressway as you drive past all the city exits. You're driving along on I-96 and you pass the Kensington Road exit, then you pass the Kent Lake South Lyon exit, and most people think Kent Lake is in Brighton or Green Oak Township, but the majority of it is in Oakland County and Milford and Lyon Township. Then you hit the new Hudson exit that everyone calls Milford anyway, because it leads to Milford Road and takes you right to Milford. That Kent Lake Road exit is a popular one to follow along to get to the Metro Park, but if you just take that road and turn on the Pontiac Trail, you'll be able to fully immerse yourself in what the city of South Lyon actually has to offer. With that being said, I'll start with things to do in the city of South Lyon. Since this just happened this year, just a few months ago, I'll mention Blake's Orchards and Cider Mill. And I'm not talking about the massive 800 acre operation they have going on in Armada, Michigan that I highly recommend you make a visit to. I'm referring to the 104 acre apple orchard that was once known as Irwin's, which was owned and operated by the Emery family that decided it was finally time to retire. They did a welcome weekend a few months ago and showcased their signature donuts, Blake Cider, a petting zoo, you pick apples, along with the anticipated tractor rides and live music on the weekends. It's sad to see such a staple to South Lyon go away, but having a family-owned name like Blake's come in and pick up where they left off while maintaining a great culture has definitely been refreshing to the South Lyon residents, I am sure of it. There's also a few parks as well, and over in Columbia toward the eastern side of the city, along with a short commute to the one and only Kensington Metro Park. There's also a playground and volleyball courts in the middle of the city off of Lafayette Street, located behind the Witch's Hat Depot Museum, where you can learn the history of South Lyon and educate yourself about their late 19th century history when the city of South Lyon had three rail lines operating and as of today one main line hosts the travel from Detroit to Grand Rapids while another line was completely paved over and a bicycle trail was created where several bike tours are held throughout the year. This museum also includes a Chesapeake and Ohio caboose from 1926, a freight house where the community gathered, the little Washburn school that was built in 1907, the Little Village Chapel, which was moved in 2001 from East Liberty Street to its current spot, and of course, the gazebo. Then of course, the several golf courses, Cattails Golf Club, Moose Ridge Golf Club, and Tanglewood Golf Club. With all those attractions in mind, there's also downtown South Lyon, where they have 12 walkable blocks with over 100 stores filled with shopping, restaurants, entertainment, and the one and only South Lyon Hotel that is famous for being a center point of the community for over 150 years but it was burnt down in 2016 and reopened in 2017. They say it was an electrical fire from the second floor, but what many people don't know is this location was formerly a cemetery where the city council approved removal of the remains at a cost of $2.50 each. So some people say there could be a little paranormal activity involved. For those of you that have visited this staple in South Lyons history, 
Do you feel like it was haunted at all? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. After touching on downtown South Lyon, it's fitting to touch on some good restaurants and shopping opportunities in the area. I have helped a few clients in South Lyon and my fiance's family lives there as well, so I have had my fair share of good eats there. One of the places is Cancun Mexican Grill. I've been there on several occasions. The portion sizes are large and their margaritas are definitely worth noting down. I definitely suggest probably having only one of those. There's also the Java House, a door or two down in the same strip. On the intersection of 10 Mile and Lafayette Street, there's also the Lake Street Tavern and the Corner Social, along with the South Lion Village Bakery a few streets down. And of course, the one and only Witch's Hat Brewing Company, named after the museum that offers a huge beer list and a sizable menu for any hour of the day. In terms of shopping, there's a little lack of opportunities in the city aside from a few mom and pop shops located down in the downtown strip. Of course, the city has everything you need within just a few miles, but if you find there's not enough to satisfy you, the Green Oak Village Place in Brighton is about nine miles away and the 12 Oaks Mall in Nova is just about 11 miles away. So whatever lacks in South Lyon, the great location makes up for it in the nearby cities. Now what about South Lyon schools? The South Lyon Community School District has everything from an early childhood center to eight elementary schools, two middle schools, two high schools, which covers three townships and three counties. Taking a look at what the US News Best School Rankings has to say about South Lyon, they gave them a number 1,774 in national rankings out of 24,000 or so schools. Number 54 in Michigan High Schools, and number 23 in Detroit metro area high schools. Then you can see the overall score of a 90.06 on where students lie in proficiency and the graduation rate. Now stepping over to some crucial information worth noting and that's the home prices. We have this chart provided by the multiple listing service showing the entire MLS in blue, South Lion in green, and Lion Township in yellow. This chart shows the three year progression until October 2022. You can see how South Lion falls right in the middle of the bunch, but Lion Township comes in with an average home price of $507,000 and some change. It's safe to say the city of South Lyon is a little friendlier on the wallet to say the least. Taking a look at these home listing results in South Lyon and Lyon Township, there's 85 listings as of recording this ranging in all price points. Taking a look at the top here, there's a two bedroom, two bathroom condo with no basement or garage, leasing at $1,300 a month. Scrolling down a little farther, there's several condo options for under $100,000 from one bedroom, one bathroom to two bedroom, one bathroom. Scrolling down farther, we have several new construction single family homes from three bedrooms, three bathrooms to five bedrooms and three and a half bathroom homes ranging from $520,000 to $872,000 on the next page here. So it's safe to say there's quite a large affordability spectrum when it comes to buying or leasing a home in South Lyon. The best part is no matter where you are in South Lyon, you're always close to Lafayette Street, which leads to the heart of downtown and the on-ramp to hop on I-96 for any traveling you need to do throughout your day. South Lyon is a great Southeast Michigan city to consider if you're thinking about making the move to Michigan. You have the charming downtown area, close proximity to the expressway and other great cities and a nice little slice of history and several mom and pop shops that are heavily heavily welcomed in this small town. As of late, the town is getting a little tight and populated since new subdivisions seem to be being built in every square inch of the city. So in the future, when they want to add some more city offerings, they may find hardship if they continue to pile in all these new construction homes. There isn't an overly abundant amount of things to do in the city by any means, and the home prices tend to be a little high for the most part. In a best case scenario situation like that, you opt for something in the outskirts of a popular spot so you can save money on the real estate side of things. But here it isn't so much the case depending on what you're looking for in a home, of course. The area is becoming more and more upscale. Shops and restaurants will soon be transforming in that direction as well, at least in my opinion. So overall, what are your thoughts about South Lyon, Michigan? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I hope this video and the several others have provided you value. If they did, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up, tap the subscribe button, and hit the little bell so you never miss out on one of my uploads. Until next time.